Hey guys, it's Molly Kitty Cat 24 and today I'm going to give you a Thanksgiving haul. So, um all of these um I got and um there's two MLP things. There are some stuffed animals which I'm really excited about. And there also is a special store behind them and a cute little cast iron stove that comes with all of these accessories. It's really dark in the video, but I may go over to some brighter lighting. So, yeah, so this is Thanksgiving haul, and this was early, so I did not film this on Thursday where, where Thanksgiving really is. If you read the description, it would say Thursday, not, I mean, Sunday, not Thursday. And so... Yeah, I just wanted to um, show this to you, and I all got it for free. I did not buy them. They were presents. So, yeah, let's get to first thing. First things I got were, um, I got from my second cousin. He is um, a brody, and um, he got me this, um, well, he didn't really, well, um, it is a, um, he got me these two, the two My Little Pony things. It is um, a, a uh, just a regular alicorn. And if you don't watch My Little Pony and you just, this this is not a real character. It's just a um, fan art thing. So it's that. And also, I may be a little bit weird because I'm in this. So it's this, which is a really, I love these colors. Then if you flip it over... Voila! There is this, which there is Twilight, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie. Then Queen K Chrysalis, Discord, and King Sombra. And I really think that it's cool. And there's this. The phone is just not focusing. So, yeah. Moving on to next. Next, I got this really super cute um, full letter shy doll. She um, she did not come with a bow. I just put it on there, and um, of course, she has that her cutie mark and um, this hair, which is the little string type hair. And she has beautiful teal eyes, and so she is yellow with pink. So next, moving on to the next category, we have teddy bears. First is this one, which um, now these things I got for my great grandma. So um, this is a little teddy bear, which is jointed, like all of the old fashioned ones, ones were. Um, so you can like move it and there's actually a special store behind it because these overall jeans are 90, 90 something years old. See, they're a little bit worn. You can't tell really because of the lighting, but they're worn. They're like all worn out, see? They're supposed to be like a dark jean material, but they're all worn. I need to get into better lighting, see? Sorry about the clock noises. Um, so there's that one, it's a blonde teddy bear. Next, I got a red hat club one, where it's another blonde soft one, and it does have movable um, legs and arms, and it has a red hat with purple. So that one's really cute. And this one is my favorite of all the teddy bears, even though it's the smallest, and everybody knows it. Well, not everybody knows, but most of you know. Ah, don't, that I like small things, and oh my gosh, it's the cutest little smallest teddy bear ever. So it comes with a little red bow. Okay, there, it's in focus now. It has little painted on paws, and it's really soft, and it's movable. See, I'm gonna show you how they can be movable. Next, second to last one in the teddy bear group, I guess, is this little brown one. It is really, really cute. And just so you know, I got five little teddy bears. So it has a little sailor outfit that's knit. 
and a red, uh, a maroonish, it looks sort of purple-ish pink in the camera, but it's actually a red maroon. That's the same bow in the little hat. It's like a little sailor outfit, like a sailor little dress, I guess, and a sailor hat, which I think is super duper cute. So it is a fob bear, I guess. And all of these little bears have like the movable joints and I'll show you how they move at the end of the video. Okay, last one from the teddy bear group. We have a Oxford bear, which I got from England. So England, and actually I live in the US in the USA. Okay, now, <laughs> it is an Oxford bear, as you can see. On the little shirt, it says the Oxford bear, like some fancy writing. There's a little red bow tie. It's really cute. Movable joints as well. Okay, next I have this really cute stove. So I'm going to move into some better lighting to show you um, the stove. Okay, this is better lighting for the um, stove. So, um, on this stove is actually a old fashioned one. So first I'm gonna show you the little pots and pans that it came with and then I'm gonna show you the actual stove. Okay, so here are the little accessories and things. First we got this little spatula thing. Um, or it might be the thing for shoveling co coal because this is like an old fashioned one. It's not like beep, turn on the thing. Um, so it looks like a little spatula, but it might be a little thing to shovel out the coal. I do not know. It's really cute though. It's like, this is all cast iron and has a little hole right there. Next, I got this little pie, which um, is cast iron, it's around, what, a centimeter and a half, I guess, thick. Um, it, again, has a little um, hole right there. Um, as you can see, there's a little white through there, which is, and then, yeah, so um, it's a little bit dusty since it's been out, but there's that. Next, I got a little frying pan, which as well has a little hole. Um, it has a little point right there, so you can like pour stuff out. It is cast iron as well. Yeah. Warning, I'm an extremely hyper in this part for some reason. Next up, ta-da! <laughs> is this little pot thing. Boop. So it has a little handle that you can have and carry like do 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 um, it has a little rounded part right there so you can see. And it's a little bit round and it's like a cast iron pot. Lastly, I have this little pouring serving i don't even know what it's called it has a little pot thing it has a little handle as well boop, 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 boop. um which you can move the handles but they're really hard um maybe you could like loosen them up if you do moving exercises or something so yeah now we have the little stove it's like um if you can see how about a little pet shop so you have some over here in a pile. Um, to Little's Pet Shop, to a long-haired chihuahua, it is that big. So, all right. Okay, let's look closer to detail. Okay, first I'm gonna show you this side. It has little holes right here. I don't know if you can see that because it's like pitch black. Like, it looks pitch black, but it's actually like gray from all the dust and stuff. Um, I think I got this from Alaska. This little door can open. And that's where you'd put all the wood and heat a fire. So these stairs and these little things open. That's where you would cook things. And um, right here we have a little random little pot. 
Dang, I don't know what that's for. This can be removed. Sorry for the bad focusing and the bad filming. I'm like, I'm holding it with one hand and um, showing with the other. So this is all like cool. I'm expecting steam would come out from there or something. It's like these pretty designs. Oh, there, it's not as pitch black now. It has all those things. Other side, just the same as the other, but only it doesn't have the little holes. I think now I can show the holes on the side. Can you get I? There. See those little holes that open up. And then the back. See, as you can see now, you can see that it's very dusty. The back just has that little thing. And it's just like that. So. There is that. And it. If you look right here, this says Crescent. Open and voila. Close. So that's all I got for this haul video. And I did not try to brag at all. And sorry if it came out that way, but I did not try. So like I promised in the video, I would show you how all those stuffed animals are all jointed. So let's get started with that. Thanks for watching my videos, and please stay tuned for a lot more um, hauls and all sorts of things. And yeah, like I said, I wasn't trying to brag at all, and if it came out that way, I'm super, super, super sorry. And yeah, so um, thanks for watching, and goodbye.